Welcome back to this channel. I know many of you have been thinking about second year program selection, and this is when I come in <laughs> to tell you about my experience in biochemistry so far. So I've only had one semester in biochemistry, but I can kind of talk about why I chose biochemistry and how my experience has been so far one semester in this program. So hopefully that can help you a little bit, and please feel free to leave any comments down below if you have any more questions or you can DM me on Instagram and I'll answer you on there too. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We'll start off with why I chose biochemistry. I've always had a huge interest for bio and chemistry since high school. So I chose life science first year, right, to kind of test out, oh, if I have any other interests like psych, physics, or math. And turns out that I don't really like those <laughs> very much. I'm okay with psychology, but I just can't remember things from psych, so that's why I didn't really choose it. I like psychology as a subject itself, but I just don't think I can pursue something in psych. So from my experience in first year life sci, it kind of solidified my likings for only just bio and chem. But naturally, my two top choices were either chemical biology or biochemistry. I was actually struggling really hard to choose between which one I want to go into. I was actually dead set on chemical biology because I actually do better in chemistry than biology which is really weird, but chemistry does take a lot more time to study for than biology, which is why I changed my program selection last minute. Basically, your program selection is at the end of April, I believe. Don't call me on this, I kind of don't remember, but they will send you multiple emails, so don't, don't worry about that. Just make sure that you meet all the requirements for the programs that you want. So you rank four of your top choices, and then if you don't get into the first one, you will automatically be considered for the second one. If you don't get in the second one, you consider for the third one. So that's how it goes. I had chemical biology as my first one, biochemistry as my second one. Like with my GPA, I was pretty sure that I could get into either my top or my second choice. I submitted, I actually submitted my application with chemical biology as my first choice. Cause I was like, oh, I do better in chemistry than biology. But I did email them before the program selection result come out to switch into biochemistry. Don't quite remember why I had that change of mindset. I think it's just because even though I've been doing better in chemistry than biology in first year and also in high school, but I just feel like biology will be less work for me because I think I was just looking at the courses that I have to take as a potential chem bio student and I was like, oh my god, this much chemistry, I might be able to handle this. <laughs> I have a couple friends in chemical biology and I was talking to one of them and they have something called like analytical chemistry. Also, don't call me on this. I think they do like a bunch of titration like Hendricks and Hasselbach things that you would do in your first chapter in Chem 1A3. A lot of people did find Hendricks and Hasselbach being the easiest thing and they got such good marks on it, but for me, for some reason, it was like the hardest, the most confusing thing. I just do not understand Hendricks and Hasselbach. <laughs> Looking back, I was actually really glad I did not choose chemical biology because I feel like analytical chem would have killed me more than orgo. <laughs> One reason that also made me change my mind to go into biochem is because biochem has always been a very popular and probably one of the most competitive second year program from life side first year so they always have pretty much one of the highest cutoff like last year was a 10 everyone that got in obviously had an average above 10 to get above 10 is not a super easy job in uni if you've been in first year of uni you know that to have an average of above 10 means you have to actually study pretty hard you have to actually care about school a lot and I think that's one of the reasons that made me chose this program because the GPA cutoff just kind of show that everyone is super motivated in this program like I myself to be honest did not get a grade anywhere close to you know all 12s at four point in GPO I wish though but I, I personally I just don't have the brain for that <laughs> but I know a lot of people from that program did and there's this old saying in Chinese it's kind of like you want to associate yourself with the people that you want to become because the people around you is basically a reflection of who you are right like these people from the biochem program i know is super motivated and driven and these are all qualities that i really look up to and i really strive for for myself so that's why i was like oh i want to go into this program with all these like-minded, hard-working people. Basically, the reasons are just, first of all, me wanting to associate myself with highly motivated, driven, and hard-working people, and second of all being that bio and chemistry are where my passion are at. 
and third of all could just be that's an elimination of how I don't really want to do analytical chemistry and all the other chemistry that's probably gonna just make my brain go explode <laughs> But if you're really good at application at chemistry kind of stuff and you don't really like memorization, I will suggest go into chemical biology instead of biochemistry for sure. Uh, if you're gonna ask me the difference between these two, I honestly don't know. I've asked this question so many times to so many different people. I still don't understand the difference really. Chem bio definitely, I feel like it has a little more application because of the courses that it takes is a little bit different. I'll talk a little bit more after I talk about like the courses that we have to take as biochem students. I feel like another reason that could help someone that choose between whether they want to do chem bio or biochem is, do you want to do analytical chemistry or do you want to do genetics? <laughs> so analytical chemistry is a course that's designated just for chem bio student and so chem bio student takes cell bio, they take bio 2, bio 3, and then biochem student has to take, we don't have analog chemistry, but we have to take genetics, which is bio 2, co 3, and a lot of the students in biochem actually also take cell bio, because cell bio 2, bio 3 is like a prerequisite for upper year immunology courses that they want to take. I don't know if you have ever done your research, but if you ever look into reddit, so all of those rant about bio 2, co 3 or aka genetics, they're pretty much true, I'll tell you. That course is the literal definition of pain. Pain, period. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Many of you probably have taken Bio 1 and Mo 3, and I've kind of talked about that in my previous videos of how unorganized that course is. So Bio 1 and Mo 3 is very unorganized, right? But the content itself, I would argue that it's not very hard. It's just the unorganized makes it very annoying. Whoa, but genetics is on a different level. <laughs> I've never taken a course this bad. I would say it's probably three times worse than Bio 1 and Mo 3, and that says a lot. And I would say that genetics is worse than organic chemistry, and that itself is a statement. Genetics is not as hard as Orgo content-wise, but the bio department is one of a kind. At least in Orgo, despite the content is hard that you need a lot, a lot of practice to understand, to grasp on the knowledge, the testing is at least fair. They test you on things that they taught you, right? But for genetics, oh my god, the content is so much. Like the content itself is not as hard as Orgo, but it's a lot. It almost feels like it's a one semester course that has a full year, like a two semester content in it. So you're literally flying. I think this year they changed up the format so we have four tests in total and they're not cumulative. Every three weeks you have a test and the content is a lot once you take this course. <laughs> the funny thing is you don't get tested on things that you actually get taught in class, <laughs> which is really sad. Um, like literally our test is only 50 minutes. 5-0, super short, so you're always running out of time with the amount of information that's on the test, and I don't know where they get their test questions, but they just don't like to test you with things that they taught you. Some of the tests only 10 to 15% of the content were being taught, and they just throw in some random stuff. That course is so bad on a different level. Just, just go look into Reddit. That course has caused me so much pain. It has caused everyone so much pain. It's actually a bad course. It has been a bad course for years. They just they just don't do anything about it. They pretend that they don't hear the complaint. They don't change anything. Be prepared for receiving one of the lowest GPA that you would get in that course because that course is pretty helpless. <laughs> but it's a mandatory course for biochem students. So that's something that you want to consider. Like that could probably help you between choosing chem bio or biochem because you know, Genetic is not mandatory for them, they don't have to take genetics. And Orgo, obviously, you have to take in whether you're in biochem or chem bio. Orgo just needs a lot of practice, but at least the chem department is fair, in my opinion. Oh. Some people were probably wondering about whether they want to like, stay in life science second year or go into biochem. It's really up to what you want, because like what I said earlier, my reasoning is a little bit different because I'm not trying to go to professional school, going to med school. I think what you need to consider is the fact that biochem is a great program, it is, but it has a lot of GPA killing courses. Orgo and genetics, 
they will destroy your GPA for sure. And then and another thing is we actually do a lot of group projects. I have personally done three group projects for three different class this term. But the thing is, all my group members, they're all from biochem. So I have not had a single bad group members. So everyone's on their game. Everyone's super motivated in this program. I personally don't mind public speaking. I don't really mind group projects as long as all my group members do their work, as long as we all equally contribute to this project as a whole. But if you really don't like group project, I feel like you should reconsider the fact that if you want to go into biochem, because we do a lot of group projects, we collaborate a lot. So I just want to kind of give a shout out to all my group members for my mandatory biochem inquiry class with Felicia. So this year, because of the pandemic, so we're obviously doing labs online and we have it every single week. Me with three of my other group members, that's one of the greatest time I actually have because I usually get really stressed out for labs, but for the biochem labs, because everyone is so helpful, like Felicia and Vivian and the biochem department as a whole, everyone's so helpful, the TA is so helpful, and me and my other three group members, we work on things together, like we're there to help each other out. We also have a lot of fun in between. Not only help each other out, we have also become very good friends. We did this group project, this presentation, and it was on using salmonella, the bacteria salmonella, as a drug delivery system to target cancer cells in your body. So we had to present on Microsoft Teams, right? And you know how Microsoft Teams, you can change your background so they have like all those background set in there you can also download pictures and customize your own backgrounds and we all each download a different salmonella picture we just had that in the bag when we present it was great it was a very fantastic touch <laughs> and i was literally pinching myself trying not to laugh out loud when presenting but it was a very great time i'm very thankful for my group members that have also become very good friends of mine so with all these pros of this program there's obviously cons i feel like because of the high gpa cutoff like what i mentioned earlier i always feel so incompetent in this program like <laughs> Everyone is so smart, so incredibly smart. And also this program is hard because with every other program, you don't really need to take genetics and orgo together. I know genetics and orgo is pretty much mandatory for all the other like bio-related program. Like if you're a biopsych, if you're a biophysiology or other bio program, you all have to take genetics and orgo, right? But then you don't have to take it together. But for biochem student, we have to take it together. Like we have to take them in second year. But for all the other program, you can like take genetics in second year and or going through you can kind of space it out but having them together is kind of not a very good combo so that's what you have to take into consideration of that because that's mandatory for us to take them together this semester has definitely been the hardest semester i have ever been through uh not only is because it's online also the content is just too hard <laughs> too much work so much work like there's one week that we have oracle and genetics midterm back to back with three assignments due the next week it was it was kind of awful like that it's definitely harder than the first year i would say so that's something to consider as well and i think that that's all i wanted to cover for today so if you have any more questions like what i said earlier you can feel free to comment below or dm me on instagram and lastly this is just sign out randomly can we appreciate the artwork behind me <laughs> so this is like earth my brother drew it and he wanted to throw it away i was like don't you dare i wanted this so i just kind of like put it on my wall it looks pretty nice actually so hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was kind of helpful please feel free to subscribe like and comment on this video and i'll see you on the next one bye